The Hard Rock is the largest resort in Punta Cana and one of the most popular hotels in the Dominican Republic. In this video, we'll give our bare bones opinion and tell you exactly what we loved and hated about this property. We liked the flavor of the food. The Hard Rock is hands down the best resort we've stayed in Punta Cana regarding food flavor. If we first visited the Hard Rock and compare its food with the other 23 Punta Cana resorts we've been to, it would be the only one with the top score. Resort food, in general, is not exceptional, and it's only natural because mass-produced food will never be as good as restaurant food. All-inclusive hotels must feed thousands of guests every day, multiple times a day, so it's understandable if food flavor takes a hit. Having said this, the Hard Rock does a great job producing amazing dishes, some comparable to or better than restaurant dishes. Right from our first meal, we knew that the Hard Rock's food was the tastiest of any resort we had visited. We didn't like the size and variety of the buffet restaurant. Later in the video, we'll show you how big the Hard Rock Punta Cana is and how crowded it can get, so it baffled us why they would make the main buffet restaurant so small. Usually, buffet restaurants are big to accommodate the high food traffic and keep a constant flow of guests coming in and out, especially during lunch when most specialty restaurants are closed. However, the main buffet at the Hard Rock is not that big. Almost every time we went to eat there, there was a line to enter as we had to wait for the hostess to assign us a table. This was our first time waiting in line to eat at a resort's buffet restaurant. Its size also contributes to a not-so-great food variety. The flavors were good, but there were not many options to choose from, which is one of the best attributes of a buffet to begin with. We liked the pool variety. The amount of pools this resort has is crazy. In total, there are 13 pools scattered around the hotel grounds, which was a good strategy due to the massive size of the property. Sun Pool and Isla Pool are for members only. Both are near the beach on the lower left corner of the property. Non-member guests have access to eight pools, one of them being for kids and another sax pool for adults only. Guitar Pool and Drums Pool have the same layout and design. Both have wet bars and Drums has a volleyball net. Moon Pool has a half moon shape and is also by the beach. As you can see, some pools have a blue tile design while others have a more modern white design. They're remodeling the pools in stages to a more contemporary white design. Two pools are located in the central beach area. Eclipse Pool is the largest of the two and the largest in the resort, and Central Pool is divided into two halves by a dry bar. Eclipse Pool and the lower half of Central Pool are the most active, and a DJ plays live music during the day. Like Sax Pool, Bongo's Pool is vertically in the middle of the property. Finally, the hotel's water park has a pool with a soft drinks wet bar. We didn't like the size of the property. The Hard Rock Punta Cana is an immense hotel. It's the biggest resort in the Dominican Republic and its size could be an issue for people with mobility issues. Getting around involves a lot of walking, so come prepared. There are trains that take you around the property and we found them reliable. You may also rent golf carts during your stay. The hotel is massive both horizontally and vertically. It has a well thought out layout, however, the property's sheer size can make moving around the different hotel areas inconvenient. We liked the room. We booked a Caribbean suite double, the cheapest room type, and we fell in love with it from the moment we opened the door. As of the recording of this video, this is my favorite Punta Cana resort room, the Throne in the Lopezan Costa Bávaro, and it is John's second favorite room behind the Margaritaville. We loved how big it was. The room is divided into four distinct areas, bedroom, living room, bathroom, and balcony, and it feels more like a studio apartment than a hotel room. The bathroom is separated from the rest of the room by a door for ultimate privacy. It has double vanities and is well illuminated. The shower is huge and has our favorite kind of shower head, a rain shower head. 
we loved the Nespresso coffee machine, which we have always used more than a drip coffee maker. The mini bar's content was disappointing for the Hard Rock's price point and style. We were expecting bathrobes and slippers in our closet, customary in classier Punta Cana resorts. The bedroom area felt modern and chic. We loved the bed and pillows and the availability of electric plugs and USB ports. The AC worked great at all times. The TV was big, but we wish it had more channel variety. The chairs and sofa are very clean and invite you to sit down, which is rarely the case in hotel rooms. The balcony is not that big, and its nicest feature is the hot tub. This was our view from room 8148, located on the first floor of building 8A. We didn't like the constant lines. Waiting in line was an inescapable reality at the Hard Rock. There were lines at the buffet, the bars, the coffee shop, and the restaurants, some of which were too small for a hotel this size. Lines were common throughout our stay. However, we must credit the staff since they kept them moving fast. The hotel was not as crowded as it gets in high season, so come prepared to exercise your patience. We liked the beach. The beach is stunningly beautiful. The water is gorgeous. We loved how electric its blue color is. This footage doesn't really do it justice. The ocean is rougher here than in other areas of Punta Cana and is usually wavy. No seaweed was a pleasant surprise since summer is the seaweed season. The sand part is extensive, so the sitting areas have plenty of breathing space. The lounge chairs were in good condition and there were plenty. Like the resort, the beach section of the Hard Rock is vast with different beach areas for the various membership levels. We didn't like the lack of bellhop service. We usually take our bags to our room ourselves, but having been assigned a room in building 8A and its distance from the lobby, we asked if someone could take us in one of the carts. We sensed that the bellhop service was not fully fledged, and after a few minutes of waiting around, we decided to walk to our room. It took a while to get to our room since it was far away, and we were unfamiliar with the most direct way to get to our building. We liked the water park. The Rockaway water park has several rides ranging from medium to extreme and a section exclusive for younger kids. We love water parks in resorts. Sometimes they cater to small children, but more resorts also cater to adults. We had a lot of fun sliding down the different slides and only one remained unconquered. A snack truck makes this area self-sufficient and invites you to stay here longer. We didn't like the Lazy River. Lazy rivers are one of our favorite resort amenities since they are very relaxing and can be fun if designed well. We noticed that there were not many floaties available even though it was practically empty. The current is not strong, and we had to paddle or push our way through. There was a section where the river divided into two paths where the current was almost non-existent. This was not our favorite lazy river. Some resorts like the Dreams Onyx, Royalton Bavaro, and Ocean El Faro have better ones. We liked the nightlife. Nightlife is contained in the main building, where most restaurants are, so it's easy to find something to do at night. We experienced the neon party in the Eclipse Terrace. The neon party was a lot of fun. A DJ played great music accompanied by a live drum player, which made it more electric. The lights decoration was super cool, especially the floor, and people of all ages were having a great time. At the Moon Lounge, it was karaoke night, and the crowd was really invested in the singing. Moon Lounge is like a mix of resort discos and sports bars, and it's one of the most active places after dinner. You can also enjoy Auto Nightclub, which opens on Fridays and Saturdays, and the largest casino we've seen in Punta Cana. We didn't like the night show. To be fair, we really enjoyed the first show, Rockstar's Night. It consisted of a live band playing rock music hits. 
The band, especially the guitarist, sounded great, and the audience had a blast. They were obviously a professional band and not your usual resort band. The second night's show was 70s music accompanied by retro dancing numbers and lip syncing. The performances, choreography, and lyrics could have been better rehearsed, and the costumes and scenography better accomplished. We did not enjoy this show. The hard rock brand would benefit from investing more resources into this show. We loved the hard rock's value for money. You voted this category the most important when choosing an all-inclusive resort. Even though it's not cheap, at $250 per person per night, we give it the maximum score in this category, as the quality price ratio is high. We would return to Hard Rock Punta Cana even at a higher price per night. Watch this video next if you want to see all the amenities and hotel areas of the Hard Rock Punta Cana.